Welcome to 2017, everyone. I'm talking to all of you from the past because right now it's still 2016, so it's a little weird. But I am here to bring to you a brand new motherboard from ASRock, the Extreme 4, based on the Z270 chipset. You heard it right, folks. This motherboard supports the Intel Kaby Lake CPU lineup. This is a premium motherboard from the Taiwanese company targeted toward the overclocking enthusiast. In my opinion, it's gorgeous. No two ways about it. It's unique, packed with features, and comes with white accents, a personal favorite. Let's take a tour. So as I just mentioned, the Z270 chipset supports processors up to the 7700K in Intel's Kaby Lake lineup. The Z indicates an unlocked multiplier, meaning that overclocking potential is limitless with any K-SKU CPU. But that's not all. This and most other Kaby Lake boards support Skylake processors out of the box, no BIOS update required. I threw my i7-6700K into the socket to verify. I had a few problems with the initial boot, wasn't getting a post, so I reseeded the CPU and cleared the CMOS, and voila, good as gold, been that way ever since. And as for specifications, we're looking at a Z270 chipset along with DDR4 support up to 3866 MHz and even higher. I ran my Trident Z DIMMs from G-Skill at 3200 MHz without a hitch. You'll find two full-size steel reinforced PCIe 16X slots, followed by a third at the very bottom, not steel reinforced, but I doubt you'll need the third one, as well as three in the much smaller form factor. Both NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire are supported on this board, and SLI high bandwidth bridge is included in the box. Asus Aura is as well, so you can plug an ASUS RGB LED strip directly into the board and control its effects along with those under the chipset heatsink through downloadable software. The Extreme 4 boasts a 12-phase power delivery system with 12K black capacitors for excellent overclocking potential and stability. I could reach 4.6 GHz without a hitch on my 6700K. Expect similar overclocking potential for Kaby Lake counterparts. Rear I.O. consists of 7.1 audio along with optical support, an Ethernet port, four USB 3.0s, a USB 3.1 port along with a Type-C connector, HDMI, DVI, and even D-sub ports, and a PS2 interface for old-school mice and keyboards. If you're willing to pay a bit extra, you can throw in a Wi-Fi card via the M.2 KeyE interface and run antennae out the rear I.O. as well for native Wi-Fi support. Other features of the board include five fan hubs, one of which has dedicated pump support, eight SATA 3 ports, two USB 3.0 front I.O. connectors, the 24 pin of course, an array of USB 2.0 hubs, ASUS Aura, HD Audio, and ASRock's own Purity Sound 4 featuring the latest Realtek codec and a multi-layered PCB for distinct audio channels. Aesthetics are also a top priority with this variant, if you can't already tell. As mentioned earlier, white accents are everywhere. The entire rear I.O. section is covered by a white plastic housing, which boasts a light blue LED. It also stays on 24-7 thanks to its 5-volt source, which means that you can show it off even when the PC is turned off. The chipset heatsink is also wrapped in these 5-volt LEDs. The Z270 description is printed on the uppermost VRM heatsink, and the one further down is partially covered by the rear I.O. housing. The PCB itself even has white accents, you'll notice a large X spanning the entire board, something I do appreciate. The Z270 killer variant of ASRock features a large white K, so expect further branding like this from the company in the future. I'm all for it, it sets this brand apart from its competitors and at a respectable price. A link to the Z270 Extreme 4 here will be in the video's description once available. If you like this video or appreciate the facts, give this one a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. If you feel the complete opposite or if you hate everything about life, be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Special thanks to ASRock for sending these early so that I could run tests on them. They're great boards, I do recommend them. That's why I'm supporting one in Heisenberg right now. Bet you didn't know that. This is Salazar Studio, thanks for learning with us.